Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today I've got another exciting finished project to show you. So we're in a, a village on the outskirts of Bedford on this relatively new estate. Um, so this house is around four to five years old, I believe, and uh, we've been able to complete a relux conversion here. So the client was very keen from the beginning not to change the aesthetics of the property too much. So in the sense of didn't want dormers and bits of all like that. So we've been able to keep everything as in, in line with the property, i.e. putting relux on the roof space, just to try and keep it as in keeping as physically possible. Um, but you'll see here we've got the stairwell, we've got this fantastic set of stairs that we've been able to get up and over the existing, so it works really well. The only thing that we had to do to change the original layout is there was a door here originally, so we've had to nick a little bit of space off this bedroom here to incorporate as part of the landing to allow us to get these stairs up and over. Um, now as we go up and over we'll show you the, the layout up there, but I just wanted to touch on, got a lovely little Velux. Um, blind control here so the, the VLUX blind on the landing is a solar blind so it's fully controllable by this remote here it's nice and simple to install no uh, no wires or anything like that because it is solar but anyway let's go jump up there let's show you the space and let's see what we've got up there so walking up to this nice and bright landing that we've got here, we've got some cupboards on the stairwell that have been able to create a little cubby hole and storage area like an airing cupboard. Um, but walking into the main room now, so this is the guest room for the client that they were looking to incorporate. So this is obviously what we call a VLUX conversion. So the shape of the roof has stayed in line with the, the roof structure. Um, here we've got a nice space. We've got some fantastic light behind the camera here that hopefully you'll see with the two large VLUX windows. Obviously the client's got their central bed here, nice big double, um, got some nice light in either side. What we've also got in this room, it benefits from aircon. So we struggled to be able to get a place that you'd be able to put the wall mounted system. So they've actually gone for a floor mounted system that you can see over here. Um, and funny, funny story, so Oddie Ball, who does all our air conditioning, had actually already put air conditioning into the property already. So they had a relationship with them. And he's actually come out and installed that unit down there that you can see. Um, so the whole house is fully benefiting from aircon, not only for the cold, but also the heat element as well. Let's go uh, show you the little office that we've got, or I say office, little games room that the client was keen to utilise. So as you can see here, we've got this cute little space that the client was keen to, to, uh, to utilise as a little home office from time to time, but more importantly for him, a little game space as well. So he's got everything set up here with his gaming PC. Um, we're under a nice, another large read up window. Obviously we've got something slightly different on this one. It's actually got like what we call like an insect um, grill, if you like, or mesh. I've um, never seen this before, but VLUX offer it, which is quite nice so that the client can leave the window open um, and not worry about insects and bugs getting into the space as well. So like I say, it's a cute little space in here. As much as it is an office, um, it is classed as a little separate room as well. So it's got all its separation with the fire door, got another little radiator in here. So it is a, a little um, contained room. Could potentially hand in hand with a little nursery maybe for future proofing, but it served its purpose for what the client was looking for. Now we're gonna have a little look at the ensuite. I say ensuite bathroom. Anyway, let's go. So here we have the stunning bathroom that's been completed as well, and I'm loving the uh, style that the client's gone for with all the black finishing and alongside the white tiles, everything just pops. And even to the point we've put like a black um, tile trim as well around the edge of the tiles, which just everything looks very much in keeping. I love it, it's very much on trend. Um, it is a little bit tight in here, granted, because of obviously the slope, but as always, um, this property is kind of in between. So it's not perfect for a VLUX conversion, it's not perfect for a dormer, so it's in that little middle ground. So it could have had either option. Because the client was just lo looking to utilize it as a guest room they kind of opted for the VLUX conversion because they didn't need the massive amounts of space with it being just for a guest bedroom and the cost obviously um, but more importantly to them it was the aesthetics they're not a fan of the dormer which I can understand but I digress because of the we haven't got a dormer everything is a little bit tighter here just because of we've got the shape that we've got to play with but we've been very creative and, and gained every inch that we can not only um, keeping the floor as low and the rafters not as deep um, just to utilize it so we can get a shower into this space and it's actually a really decent shower so I believe it's 18 oh sorry 800 wide by 1200 long so it's quite a decent shower funny thing though we did have a little bit of a headache being completely honest with you towards the end of the build everything was kind of nearly finished looked fantastic and then we realized the Velux it literally just integrated with the shower screen annoyingly so we had to basically move the shower uh, sorry move the Velux down 20 mil to allow for it to be able to open and not um, catch on the uh, the shower screen which is quite frustrating but when you're dealing Dealing with millimeters and trying to get everything as tight as you can sometimes that can happen but we owned it we sorted it and we're back to where we are now and the clients over the moon with this fantastic space 
But look, I think overall, this is another perfect example of what you can do with a truss roof. You can see here the original structure that we had, where we've gone from all these timbers, all this space, and we're now into an open area like this, and it's so much brighter and so much more usable. And um, as well as that, the stairs downstairs, they flow, they look very much original up and over the existing. So everything just looks really good and doesn't stand out. It doesn't look like it's an afterthought. Everything works quite well. But I hope you like what you see. Don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you again in the coming months and we'll see you soon.